Suppose an AI could mindlessly scroll through Reddit, discover new tools on its own, and do other kind of independent online exploration. Totally absurd, right? You see, it's not quite as fantastical as it first seems. In fact, a recently developed AI model can do all of these tasks and more. Its name is Gorilla, and it's essentially the only thing we have now that can be considered an AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. As a big language model, Gorilla can respond to any query or job with the necessary application programming interface, so API calls. API, short for Application Programming Interface, is a protocol that allows programs to exchange data with one another. To book a flight, for instance, you may utilize an API that links to several booking platforms. However, Gorilla is not your average LLM, large language model. It's a high-powered LLM that can communicate with a wide variety of APIs across many fields and platforms. It is compatible with Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, and Kubernetes, as well as other machine learning hub APIs, and it does all this without needing any kind of programming. It can quickly pick up new skills and adjust to shifting circumstances. It's a Microsoft and UC Berkeley collaboration, and it was just made available on GitHub as open source. When compared to other LLMs, such as GPT-4 and ChatGPT, how does Gorilla fare? To be sure, this artificial intelligence model stands apart due to a few crucial distinctions. To begin, as compared to competing LLMs, Gorilla provides more consistent and precise API call generation. In addition to reducing hallucination errors, that is, not making up things that aren't true or relevant, it can generate the proper syntax, parameters, and outputs for each API call you want. Second, as compared to competing LLMs, it offers more tool adaptability and flexibility. It remains working even when documentation upgrades and API versions are released. It can also pick up fresh information in real time from things like websites and papers. Last but not least, as compared to other LLMs, it is more potent and flexible in terms of completing tasks, as it can deal with complicated ones that include several API calls or many processes of reasoning, as well as those that bridge across various domains or platforms. In other words, if it requires the use of internet-based resources, it can accomplish it. If you want to purchase a trip from New York to Paris on the cheapest day in August, for example, you can instruct Gorilla to make the appropriate API call to link you up with a booking service like Expedia or Kayak. Gorilla may perform API calls to connect you with third-party services such as Uber Eats or DoorDash to get food like pepperoni and mushroom pizza from Domino's. Tell Gorilla you're shopping and want a pair of wireless headphones with noise cancellation and high ratings on Amazon. It will initiate the API request necessary to link you to the store's website. And these are only the tip of the iceberg for what Gorilla can achieve. You can try it yourself by downloading their CLI tool or using their collab notebook. Let's check out how it works in practice now. It was constructed using a modified version of LLM7B and is tuned using the API Bench dataset. Hundreds of machine learning platforms, including Torch Hub, TensorFlow Hub, and Hugging Face, have contributed thousands of API calls to this collection. These instructions teach Gorilla how to use several tools effectively. It has a mechanism that retrieves papers from the internet or other locations when it requires additional information. If Gorilla encounters a new command or an unfamiliar tool, for instance, once it locates the correct ones, it revises its prior knowledge and generates the appropriate command. The LLM system, API bench data, and document retrieval system are the three main components. It's great news for developers and researchers who are interested in using Gorilla for their own projects, since getting started is a breeze. Spotlight is a web-based interface in Gorilla that lets you look up any job or query and get the related API call. The issue now is whether or not Gorilla has artificial general intelligence, so AGI. The holy grail of AI. I don't believe it's an artificial general intelligence just yet. Some obstacles and restrictions prohibit it from becoming fully universal and intelligent at this time. For instance, it cannot learn how to utilize tools without first consulting human-created data and documentation. There are still limitations, such as its inability to execute jobs that call for creativity, emotion, or common sense, and its need on human instruction and input to progress. Nonetheless, it gets us closer to artificial general intelligence than any other LLM does. It has shown a remarkable versatility in terms of domain, platform, and capacity to learn from novel sources of data. It has also shown a substantial decrease in hallucination mistakes, one of the primary roadblocks on the path to AGI for LLMs. Gorilla may be compared to teaching an AI how to fish rather than just providing it with food by allowing AI to use tools in place of hard-coded answers. This approach frees up the technology to tackle previously intractable challenges. What do you think, then? Is Gorilla the first step toward true AI or simply another passing fad? Feel free to share your thoughts in the section below, and if you like the video, please like it. 
and subscribe to my channel for more artificial intelligence related videos. Please join me again soon for another episode.